Hey friends, down here just um, not staying over yet. Too cold and the boat isn't quite ready yet. Although we have stayed over before um, when the boat was in this condition. But anyway, that strange noise in the back the lines and the fenders for some reason just seem to be rubbing differently this time but um, we're not staying over so I don't care and you can hear Patrick's outside doing some adjustments to bits of wood that he's prepared so the plan this weekend is to um, I'm going to do some painting we've had one um, round of paint of this cream anti-slip it's actually masonry paint cream but it's lovely the first go, so I'm going to do a second coat because we've had to put down some anti-rust paint and because our deck is steel, so we've had two or three coats of epoxy and we've had one coat of this masonry paint as a test really and it's held beautifully, so a second coat and then Patrick's going to be working in the engine room just fixing some boards, waiting for our electricians and just to do a couple of odd jobs. So yeah, let's see how that goes. A little rewind to the past. So this is when we first got the boat. We got her in 2016. So this is 2017 um, and she looks completely different now. So there you can see the deck was blue, but it wasn't too bad condition, although the hull is looking a bit rusted at that point. The woodwork was this dark, it looked like fence paint um, but generally that's what she looked like but we had a lot of fun even at that point with her then moving on to 2018 we'd started doing some work on the boat you can see we've done some um, woodwork we've sanded her all the way down started varnishing the tow rail varnished the woodwork in the front there but you can see now that the deck is really starting to deteriorate. Um, and we had an idea of what we wanted to do, but we were really enjoying her. Until towards the end of 2018 when we realized, okay, it's time to start paying attention to the urgent big jobs. Number one being the engine and two, we need to start focusing on the deck and um, the hull. So in 2019, she came out. She came out of the water and onto the hard. The main reasons were the engine needed to come out. I'll do a separate video on that. And then the certainly the aft section of the well, the whole hull had to be cut out and replaced. I'll also do a video on that at some stage. But while she was out, we got on um, dealing with the deck. And as you can see by now, it had seriously deteriorated in areas. We took the stanchions off, um, took the windlass off. We weren't surprised by what we'd seen, but yeah, it was time. So with this beast in hand, I got to really have some fun getting all this blue paint off, taking the whole deck down to steel, um, under the windlass, all the way down. So the whole deck was taken down to steel. Um, and then we painted three coats of two-pack epoxy um, to really seal the deck and protect it. And then the first coat of cream paint went on. And that's where we are now. You can see the... Um, the primer, that red oxide primer we put on, because there were very, there were a couple of sections that needed attention and we needed a primer so that the cream masonry paint would stick uh, better on those. So that's where we are now and it looks like another round or two of paint after this as well. But we love it. I love it. I think it goes well with the wood and yeah the list still needs to be completed there's still quite a lot to do then it was back into the engine bay for Patrick to fit at the moment some boards to well then have various equipment attached to for instance we've got this double filter a diesel filter system that he wants to attach to a board Naturally, once again, nothing seems to work initially. It's not moving. Yes. Is it? It's not a legging motor. This is our drill. <laughs> <laughs> Just to test the gauge. It's upside down, which isn't very helpful. <laughs> it just proves that it's working. Though. All I need now is a new cable, because as you can see, this cable is somewhat 
not working, it's knackered. So I just need to get a new cable and a proper have, engine. 